Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get your Gmail account recovered not using a password. That is right guys, if you have been locked out of your Gmail account, you've been locked out of your email account, you've been locked out of whatever account you may even integrate with Gmail, I know oftentimes it can be like literally nothing, nothing short of a, a pain in the butt to get that kind of stuff recovered, especially if you don't know your security questions or if you haven't linked all these privacy things and your phone number. It's a hassle. So I went searching for an easier way and, and I actually ended up finding an easier way. And, and it's through this app right here called Gmail Plus Plus. Now this app right here, you can get on the WeTweak store. It's kind of like a uh, hacked app almost, but you can get it like on the internet and it's free and it works super, super easy. It, it takes no time at all. Look how long this video is right now. I bet it's nothing but a couple minutes. So uh, I'm gonna stop my babbling and I'm gonna start my explaining in so that way you guys can get into this yourself. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, so as you can see right here, I have Gmail Plus Plus downloaded and ready to go on my iPhone 11. Now the reason I'm running this on my iPhone 11 is for no other reason than that's just the iPhone that I'm running with. Like, if you have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13 or whatever the heck you may have, that's all cool. Uh, like older and newer iPhones. The, the reason why I stress this is just because you can use this on, on pretty much any phone, Android, iPad, whatever. Uh, so there's really no need to stress or worry about what device you are using. That being said, uh, this is Gmail++ and this is how you would do a normal account recovery. You could just go ahead and open it up. As you guys can see, uh, oh, I have signed in with the uh, Gmail that I wanted to recover and I can just hit that recover Gmail button and then I'm led into the app from there. I'm led into the normal Gmail from there. Uh, it's super, super easy. It's uh, super successful. I guess you could theoretically get into anyone's email. You would just need to know their email. Uh, and it, it works swimmingly. If this video is up, it still works. So you guys are probably a, a little bit more concerned, however, with how to get it. Uh, and, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So these are the only two apps that you guys are gonna need. You're gonna need settings and you're gonna need Safari. Those are the magic two. Settings and Safari. Now, you don't necessarily need Safari. You can use any internet browser. It doesn't have to have to have to be Safari. Although I would recommend strongly that you do use Safari because uh, Safari is going to be the platform that will allow you to follow along with my instructions the closest and that should be prioritized above all else. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into settings to configure a couple things. The first one is gonna be in this battery section right here. Battery or low power mode needs to be turned off. Low power mode can sometimes be activated and can sometimes not be activated, depending on your phone, but if it can be, it does need to be turned off. Uh, the reason why is because it slows down the function of our phone that allows us to actually download this Gmail++ app in the first place, so we just need to make sure that it is not turned on. Uh, but once that's done, it should be as simple as to hop into general and go to... Oh, don't really know what happened there with my settings, but let's go into general and then into VPN and nope, not quite to VPN device management. My apologies, guys. Background app refresh. Background app refresh, guys, needs to be turned on. Almost always your background app refresh is turned on. Like it's super rare that your background app refresh isn't turned on, but if it isn't turned on, make sure you do. So uh, yeah, with that being said, we should be good to go ahead and hop on over to the WeTweak store, which is literally just go to WE, TWEAK.co. There's that little link. Type that in. Then hit go. Oh, accidentally. We tweaked.co. Then hit go. And you'll be brought <laughs> to the number one tweaked app stout. It's a little run that I came up with to teach you guys how to get over to this app store right here, which is the WeTweak store, y'all. This is the joint when it comes to just tons and tons and tons of apps that you guys can generate and do whatever you want with, guys. So these apps, um, for instance, we have uh, the app that we're trying to get, Gmail++, should probably be in the Gs. And there it is. We're going to hit that install button, and this is going to install, or really it's going to download, rather, something called a configuration profile. Now what a configuration profile is, is it's essentially just like a, uh, it's a, gosh, what is it? A configuration profile is essentially just a hacked app. It's just a hacked app, that's basically what it's called, and it is an app that you can download through the internet. Uh, now we can download this app to our settings, and once it is downloaded to our settings, we can go ahead and uh, kind of just, uh, well, knock it out of the park and download it to our phone, which should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get this rocking. There it is. So we're waiting on this little notification that you should see asking to allow the download to happen. Obviously you're gonna allow it and then you're gonna enter back into your general. 
and go into VPN and device management. This is where it comes in. There you're gonna see under downloaded profiles, Gmail plus plus. Go ahead and hit that install button and type in your regular unlock password, just the regular password used to unlock your phone. Hit next, hit install twice, and hit done. And once you hit done, Gmail++ is downloaded and ready to go on your phone for free, guys. Enjoy.